Darren Johnson, Johnson Customs LLC. Today I'm going to show you real quick how to do a patch panel. Okay, so this door had uh, some rust issues here. Somebody had leaded them up, and of course that didn't work that well. Those fell out. You can see a spot right here. You now it's real thin. And same issue there. Okay, so now we're looking inside the back of the door, and you can see the obvious big rust holes right right there that I'm pointing at. And those are the biggest issue, but you can look all along here, it's pitted out really bad, and it's not too long before those are gonna break through. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a patch panel that is big enough to take care of all of that. I pulled some measurements off the back of the door earlier, kind of a guesstimation from here to how far out the worst rust holes were and how high up. And I know they came up into here quite a bit and somewhere back in here, and I can see a teeny bit of pitting here in a few spots where those will be the next spots to really break through. Okay, this is a patch panel I made earlier today before we decided to film this video. Um, it had a hole down here, and I was worried that I was gonna have more here, but now I'm not after looking into it more. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this panel and just kinda cut it a little shorter. Okay, so right now I got a flat piece of metal, and the door is obviously not flat. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, so it's best idea to give your piece of metal a little bit of curve. If you don't want to weld it up, a flat piece of metal, then it's just putting more tension in other areas to make it harder to body work. Okay, so you can see now that I got it fitting pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some marks on the door and get ready to cut it out. Now I use a three quarter inch tape to mark my edges. You can use a Sharpie or something and it's gonna make your lines a little bit farther out from your metal. And it's really important that this fits good, it makes the welding process a lot easier. Okay, so I got this taped off now. You can see how close that is. It's pretty close to being exact. And when you cut this out, you're gonna to try to cut right there to where the metal you're removing is poop to do. Don't forget to use your eye and ear protection. So you can see all that pitting up there. That is pretty poopy stuff. Okay, from here you should be pretty close to setting your piece in there. You're probably gonna need to take a file or something and clean out the corners a little bit. So they're gonna be a little bit rounded from your uh, cutoff wheel. So in an area like this where there's metal from the other side of the door obviously in the way, you can't really cut out the corners very square. Um, it's easier just to take your patch panel and round the corners off a little bit. This is something where you definitely don't want to have to try to hammer your patch panel into place before you weld it up. That just makes things uh, terrible. Probably a good idea too to kind of file the edges a little bit so you don't have like these big old sharp burrs hanging down. You never know when you're going to stick your fingers inside your door and cut them on that. <laughs> okay, so we now have a really good fitting patch panel. So I'm going to clean up the metal a little bit and weld it up. Okay, first off, I'm gonna get the panel just tacked in a few places to hold it uh, where I want it.
got a fast button metal here, and I need to shrink it. I'm going to use my torch. And I'm going to have to pull it off of there. Okay, it's all welded up, got it all ground clean. Now we're gonna check it for holes. So we're gonna turn the lights off in the shop and shine a flashlight around the welded areas. Okay, so I had a whole few holes here that I marked. And along here I had a whole bunch of really, really teeny ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and re-weld that section up and grind them off and we'll check it again. And hopefully it'll be ready for filling. Okay, I got the holes welded back up and ground off. Now I'm gonna check it again for holes. Okay, the door's all ground now, ready for filler. Um, we'll be making a video of that here soon. We'll put a link in this video that you're watching right now so you can see that next step. If I wasn't clear enough on how to do something, you can either leave a comment or you can like our Facebook page and send me a message on there and I can do the best to describe to you. Possibly make another video being a little bit more clear on how to do part of it. Feel free to let me know if I did my patch panel wrong. Um, apparently people like to point out when I do things wrong, so that, that's okay with me. Anyways, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. We'll leave a link in the description.